Hey guys, so, well, as you can see, I just cut my grass this morning. So this time I used the 10606. And, uh, by the way, I thought I'd just give you one little quick update on the 10606. I actually fixed that, uh, that broken, uh, height adjuster. It just been bothering me since, ever since I bought the mower two years ago. I was going to attempt to try and fix it myself, but unfortunately I, I couldn't do it, so I had to take it to the repair shop. Instead of just taking the whole mower to the repair shop, I just pulled just this entire piece off, and since I'd already had the, the new adjuster, uh, they uh, replaced it for free. So that was pretty nice. So yeah. But there's one little issue I'm having just on whenever I just pull back on the mower the, the wheel just feels very stiff. So I think I'll just uh, take the bolt off and put a little bit of grease on it just to help lubricate the, the wheel bushing. And so cool. So I'm real happy about that. Alright so this video is going to be on, I'm going to apply some wipe new here on the uh, on the cutting shield on my SRM 225 so I just washed it off a little bit but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just to make all this a lot easier I'm going to take this guard off and I'm gonna uh, do a thorough uh, cleanup on it all right so before we uh, get this guard off. We need to get the trimmer head off so that way we, we could be able to uh, get access to its uh, three screws on it. So get our little stopper right here. If you don't have this tool then you could just use a screwdriver. Alright. And we'll just get this head off. Loosen it, you, can, you turn it uh, clockwise because it's reverse threads. Oh, come on. Well, this thing's kind of stiff. Oh. Alright, hang on a second. Let me get this head off. Alright, so I finally got it broken loose. This thing was so stiff. I don't know why it was. I mean, I've had this head off a couple of times. Okay, so we'll just set that aside. And also as well as the adapter for it. And so... I know you can't quite see it, so we, there's three screws that we got to take off. And so uh, we'll uh, get them off. Alright, so we just got to take these three screws off. And so we need a, a T27 Torx screwdriver. Okay, so let me reposition my camera because it's a little bit too close. Alright. Okay, that's one of them. Alright, so just like that, the cutting shield is off. So now I'll uh, wash this off. I'm 
I'll just get a little bit from underneath. All right, she's starting to look all clean. So uh, I'll let this dry, then we'll uh, apply some wipe new on it. All right, so it's all dried. So again, I also did another, another wa thorough wash on it. I just this time I just took some soap and water, washed it off really good, and so I think we are ready. Now, whenever before you start applying wipe new or actually using it on anything especially make sure that you wear uh, gloves because this stuff could do some could cause skin irritation now the kit it will come with uh, some gloves like these okay so I'm just gonna take some wipe new on this rag just need some. Don't need too awfully much. And some just dripped on the shield, but that's all right. So here's what we are gonna do. Just gonna do a little pass right here. It only you only need to just do one little pass, just like that. Just need to go over it about maybe just once or twice definitely tell a difference you could probably do underneath of it but if you want but I'm not going to I'm not really too worried because it'll just get a lot dirtier and we'll just do the side here you can definitely tell a difference of how it looks just get around there We'll do the other side right here. I'll just wipe a little bit more off from where I'd spilt some. And at some little spots that I couldn't get with the rag, uh, the kit will also come with this little guy right here, almost like a little small one. I'll just dip this into the white new. like this I'll just run it over on this little spot here that I couldn't get and also as well as right along here and so so yeah so now it looks almost like a brand new uh, Echo cutting shield now. So uh, I'll just let this settle for a little bit and then I'll, we'll, uh, I'll put this back on the trimmer. Alright so now let's get the cutting shield put back on so I need to try to make this quick because it's getting cloudy and it looks like it's gonna start raining real soon. Okay so this goes back on just like that so now we just gotta get our little retainer here go ahead and just uh, get hand tighten the, the screws if I can find the holes oh, there we go Go ahead and get ah. Uh, sorry about that. Come on. Go ahead and just tighten them up and just get them started here. I'm just going to do these in an even uh, pattern, just so it'll all go on nice and evenly. And so yeah. So once you uh, tightened up all three 
the screws to keep the shield on. Now you can go ahead and uh, put your cutting head back on. So this needs to go on first. Okay, so now we'll get our little stopping tool right here. So again, if you don't have this, you can use a screwdriver. Now we can put the head back on. So we'll need to turn it counterclockwise to, to get it on. Just like I said, it's reversed threads. Just get this hand tight. They don't need to be ridiculously tight. Okay, I think that's tight enough. All right, cool. All right, so let's uh, check it out, see how good it looks. Oh yeah, that looks like a brand new uh, cutting shield. Looks as good as it did when I bought this trimmer three years ago. So, cool. So now all I need to do is do the one on the SRM2201, but I'll wait and do its, uh, sh uh, its cutting shield until uh, winter. And the ones on the SRM 2400 SB and the PAS230, they're still look pretty good. This is the one off of the SRM 2400 SB. There's the one on the PAS230. And they have been used once. And then once I just washed them all off, they still came back looking perfect. Looked almost like new. This one here, I just need to do a little bit of touching up on it. I think also that one as well. So cool. And hope y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And uh, it's now starting to rain. All right, guys. So uh, thanks for watching.